So this is a bit of a surprise. I mean, I heard about it yesterday, but it's still surprising. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, if you only follow this channel and you don't follow, like, any of my blogs or anything like that, I love Animal Crossing. I even loved, um, the Amiibo Festival, okay? I think it's super fun. I mean, it wasn't worth full price, but it was very fun. <laughs> I wouldn't say you got what you paid for, but you got a fun time. And also, uh, Netbug, since I know you're watching, turnips. That's all I'm going to say, turnips. So, uh, a little different today. I'm kind of splayed out on the couch at my parents' house. Um, uh, I had to do some lighting tests and everything. I spent all day working on a wig for Kumari Khan, who's going to be there this weekend. <laughs> Um, I've gone as Melba for a few years from Animal Crossing, uh, but not this year because her outfit is a tank top and she's a brown koala, so I wear, you know, brown capris. And I have, you know, ears and stuff. But a tank top and capris in late October, not a good idea. So, yeah, um, not even a good idea when they hold the con in September. So, here we are. Tune in for a roughly 15-minute Animal Crossing Mobile Direct video presentation focused exclusively on the upcoming Animal Crossing Mobile title. There will be no updates on any other topics, including other mobile Nintendo Switch or Nintendo 3DS software. Fair enough. So, uh, people looking for the next main series game, unless this is the next main series game, in which case, holy crap, I mean, it's, it's 15 minutes long, and... Previous titles have been, you know, anywhere from, uh, previous app titles have been anywhere from Mitomo, which was a piece of garbage, because you couldn't just add friends, it had to be you add your contacts. My contacts don't freaking play this. I mean, you know, <laughs> I have a roleplay account on Twitter, and I don't have a Facebook at all. So, you know, have, I, I just hope this doesn't work like that. I mean, there's Pokemon Go, which is fantastic, although it's still, um, it's still extremely buggy and slow, even after a year, almost a year and a half. And then there's Mario Run, which, let's face it, everyone stopped talking about that after about a week. I mean, yes, I know there's probably people who still play it all the time, but... Mm. Just did not. That wasn't a good idea. And then, I mean, you know, yeah, people stop talking about Magic Heart Jump after a week, but that at least, you know, it's a fun time waster and never purported to be anything else. It wasn't anything that you would get a 15 minute direct out of. You know, it's just, they had an ad, that was it, it summed up the whole game. You got, you know, you got, uh, what? what you were promised, and it never pretended to be anything more than it was. I mean, I don't play it every day, but it's cute, you know? I play it, I'm glad it's there. And it doesn't have, you know, ridiculous paywalls like Mario Run. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, so, at Komori Khan, just to go with that, um, I'm going to be... Uh, Wick or Vicka or however you say her name of the Aether Foundation and I'm going to be Impa from uh, Legend of Zelda but specifically Fat Impa and she's only been in the Oracle games <laughs> make this a little smaller here Okay. Well, it's 7.59. It's going to start at 8, because, you know, I'm in Pacific time. This has got to be geared towards Japan time. You know, it, there's there's no reason the, other than that. Uh, and yes, I have heard the rumors about Ultra Sun and Moon. I'm not going to address them other than that I've heard them. Okay? That... <laughs> Uh, 
It does cause a big ball of Ooh, okay. A big ball of anxiety to sit in my stomach. Mm -hmm. so I'm getting a delay. There we go. Yeah, well, it was already announced. I say hi, Isabel. <laughs> Hello, nice narrator. Perfect timing, Isabel. We're looking for a new campsite manager. And you look like just the type. 